A lack of food continues to be a major stumbling block for exporters who, according to Senator Roderick Sinclair, have encountered challenges with the airlines. For different um, technical issues as reported, they were unable to come, then they would come, and then the flight change, and so almost four days. So by the time they really arrive, you literally have to buy new produce all over again, uh, if you have money um, to, to, to ship. The senator says the reduction in flights for American Airlines and Amerijet, plus the size of the planes, are hindering factors which have cost the exporters significantly. Senator Sinclair says the fisheries sector has also lost a considerable amount of money despite the ability to freeze the fish caught for export. I've been speaking, and we've been speaking to one of the local um, agents here who we are exploring the opportunity of a charter. Um, of course, it would come at a higher price, but at least we might find a tripartite way to address this so that at least farmers could be able to sell the product, exporters could export, and the country could, could bring in monies. He notes that hundreds of Canadians are directly involved in the export process and an estimated $600,000 per week are circulated to farmers, fishers, and export employees. Minister for Agriculture Yolambe in Hosford tells GBN that they have been meeting with the different stakeholders, such as the ELIF committee, in a bid to resolve the issue. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.